going on, Fight Fans? This is the Encyclopedia George Kennebrew here for MMAMayhemRadio.com. We are here at Conflict 27, Columbia, South Carolina. This interview is being brought to you by USA Eagle Combat, the most powerful name in MMA. And the powerful names just keep coming through as I've got another champ standing next to me. And boy, does he ever look dapper. Now, people call him Kobe Wall, but I'm going to call him K-Dub for right now because he's just my dog like that. So, K-Dub, what's happening, man? Eric Ellison just dropped the bombshell. It said, he said it's on like neck bone. You and Bark Weeks, next conflict. I can't wait. Tell me how you feel. You know, it's going to be a good fight. Uh, I'm just ready to get in the cage and do what I do best. Um, I just got off a, a great win um, against Lamar Brown, uh, number one in the Southeast U.S., and uh, it's going to be a good fight. I know Bart's coming out to, uh, to stand and bang. Uh, he's got some pretty good takedown defense. So, um, you know, we'll see where it goes. I'm a purple belt on the ground under um, Byron Stone and uh, Roberto Travin. Uh, so uh, we'll see. You know, I like my stand up. I like my ground. So uh, I'm ready. Excellent. Now tell me, what did you think of this electric atmosphere? Because I'm still reverberating from the Alexa Connor fans Ooh. and from the Cody Myra fans literally sent this place into an earthquake with those ovations. Did you feel that out there? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, definitely felt it. I mean, they're still, I mean, probably four or 500 of her fans still here. Um, and we're probably, what, 30 minutes after the show. So uh, she's got great fans, Alexa Connors. Uh, she came in here and did what she was supposed to do. She got the win, you know, just an awesome girl. Uh, she's, she's gonna be uh, something very special one day. You know what, you talk about the electricity that Alexa Connor and Kobe Myrick receive, you better get ready for yours, big boy, because when we get to the next conflict, I got a feeling they are gonna turn up 36 for you. What you think about that? We well, you know it's, it's, it's in our backyard. Uh, Hardyville's real close to Statesboro, Georgia, and Savannah, Georgia. Uh, that's where we've been doing it big at GSU, uh, MMA, and Champions Training Center. So, uh, you know, I'm just ready to get in there and uh, do what I'm supposed to do. You know, it's, uh, you know, it's just another fight for me. So uh, I got a job to do. I'm gonna go in and do my job, plain and simple. There it is. He says he's going to go and do his J-O-B, and I definitely cannot wait for that fight. It is going to be a madhouse next month. Fans, I'm telling you, you do not want to miss this, because if you do, you just the lame. I'm just telling you, do not miss this fight. All right, I'm going to let him go ahead and get to the after party with this woman and have a good time. So with that being said, this interview has been brought to you by USA Eagle. These colors don't run, and neither does my dog, K-Dub, because he's always making his opponents run. Page turn. Over. <laughs>